what's going on everybody welcome back to microsoft flight sim 2020 today we're going to be flying the pmdg 737 from los angeles klax california to kahalui hawaii uh we are flying a real flight today we're flying american it's uh american airlines 205 is the flight number uh this is going to be our flight plan so we are going to be flying runway two left to the summer two departure in the Ficky transition. And we'll be uh, flying into runway two via the camps three arrival and the Harpo transition. Uh, I'm not seeing any weather interference or anything going on on the way there. So we should have a pretty stable flight. Um, it's pretty clear skies here as well. I do have the scenery for here as well as the arriving airport um so the frame rates we'll see how they go so far i've been doing pretty good and keeping above 35 40 uh so we should be okay with that um i haven't done anything in the plane though we'll go ahead and jump inside the plane and we could start our pre-flight checklist first thing we're going to do is make sure our parking brake is set uh we'll go to the overhead panel here we'll make sure our battery switch is switched on electric hydraulic pumps can come on and our ground power can be established now that we are on our ground power we'll check that our landing gear lever is down which it is three green lights up here uh our apu and fire warning tests we'll go ahead and run them we'll click this to the left make sure the lights come on and make sure it comes on up here which it does very good we'll click it to the right make sure everything lights up everything comes on up here we're good to go there as well we'll jump over here we'll make sure these lights are working here uh, flick that to the right there we go very good we'll jump overhead and we'll make sure our airspeed indicators are working and our flaps very good everything is working position lights and wing lights can come on so we'll move this down a little bit uh position lights are on wing lights can come on uh bleed switches they're already on they're right here uh irs's can be set to nav one two one two set to nav uh, Y'all damper, we'll turn that on in a bit. Emergency exit lights can come on. No smoking and seatbelt signs can come on as well. Uh, flap lever, we'll make sure that that is down, which it is. Speed brake lever is down as well, which it is. Galley switch is on. We'll jump overhead just to verify that. That's right here. Make sure that is actually on. And our window heats can come on. One, two, three, and four. Pro heats will stay off for now and we are ready to start inputting some information into our flight plan here our fmc so i'll head over to fs action we'll start off with fuel let me pull up my sim brief see in this plane unfortunately you guys don't get to see the um the, the sim brief the operational flight document it's, i believe is what it's called you don't get to see all that so i have to look at another screen to do that um we're looking at uh block fuel 36,985 36,985 that's going to be our fuel today uh we'll go ahead and click return we'll go to payload and our zero fuel weight today is going to be 108039 so it's going to be 1 108.0 108 which we could just put 108 that should work there we are we'll head back we'll head back and we are ready to start inputting our flight plan. We'll head to FMC and we will initialize our position. We're doing KLAX. We'll go ahead and put that in here as our reference airport. We'll head to our next page. We'll grab our left GPS, we'll jump back. We'll drop it in here and we'll head over to route. KLAX to uh, PHOG. We'll drop that in there. Flight number is gonna be American Airlines 205. We'll drop that in there. And our departing runway is going to be 24 left. 24 left. We'll drop that in there. We'll head to our next page. Now, we have a lot of waypoints that we need to put in here. But there is a trick to this. Uh, because we are flying on a jetway. So I will show you guys that trick. So we'll put in the first two waypoints. Or, or three. Uh, and I'll show you this real quick. So, Ficky, F-I-C-K-Y. We'll drop that in there. We're going direct to, and then we're going to foots. F O O T S. Uh, we're doing direct to. Then we're jumping on jetway R578. 
So Romeo 578. We'll drop that in there. And the first waypoint we go to is F-L-I-T-Y. And we'll drop that in there. Now, from here, this is where we are. This is the waypoint or the jetway. This is the waypoint. As you can see, we have the jetway here, 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 and that's it. So we're not going to put all that in. What we're going to do is we're going to put fights in. F-I-T-E-S. F-I-T-E-S. We'll drop that in there. And that's also going to be the R578. We'll make sure we put that in there. Uh, now, after fights, we have pulps and lavas and harpo. So we'll put those in. But once we go back, we're going to look at our flight plan. And we will see all these waypoints in between uh, on this jetway. All the ones that we didn't put in, it will auto-populate in there. Uh, so after fights, we're going to pulps. We'll put that in. P-U-L-P-S. Drop that in there. We'll go next page. Then we're going to lavas. L-A-V-A-S. We'll drop that in there. And then our last waypoint is going to be Harpo. H-A-R-P-O. Uh, drop that in there. Uh, we'll do this one. And that should be good as far as that's concerned. Let's do our departure and arrival real quick. Uh, if we go to our legs page now... You can see after Ficky, Foot or Fit Flitty, whatever this one is, all these waypoints put in. So we have Flitty, Faisal, Fomez. I'm terrible with these names, by the way. Um, but you can see we didn't put any of these waypoints in, and they are all here, all the way up to fights. And then we got Pulse, Lavas, Harpo. So everything went in there exactly as we wanted it to. Uh, which is a little bit easier than putting in all the waypoints like I did for our New York to los angeles all right we'll head back to departure and arrival we're going to be departing runway 24 left that is this one right here and we are doing the summer 2 departure summer 2 and we're doing the ficky transition we're going to click on that we'll head back to departure and arrival we're going to be arriving runway 2 uh ils 2 and we're going to be doing the Camps 3 arrival and the Harpo transition. So we can go ahead and click Route, Activate, Execute, and we'll go over our flight plan and make sure everything is in there correctly. With we'll the flight plan, we'll keep it at that zoom level where it is. This is where we are now, so we'll go ahead and step through these. Make sure there's no mistakes. And right into the runway. Everything looks good to me. We head back to the legs page. We can flick this back to map mode. Um, let's get our barometer while we are looking up here at our barrel stuff. Go to Medar. Close out of that. And right here. We're looking at 2996. So we'll set 2996 now. There we are. Okay. So now we need to go into our performance information. So our init ref, our cruise altitude today is going to be flight level 300. Drop that in there. Uh, our cruise winds, let me get them real quick. Uh, 30, 300, we're looking at 238 at 031. 238031. We'll drop that in there. Our zero fuel weight again. Let me scroll back up on my sim brief here. We were looking at 108. 108. We'll drop that in there. Reserves. We got a thousand in reserves. Cost index. We are looking at 18. We'll drop that in there. We'll go ahead and click execute. We'll head over to the second page here. Uh, everything seems to be okay there. We'll go to N1 limit. We're gonna do takeoff configuration one. We'll head to takeoff. We're gonna do flaps five, which will give us our trim. 6.33 and that will give us a v1 vr and v2 speeds so 6.33 let's get that put in now we'll go ahead and get this going i know there's a faster way to do this if i hold shift it doesn't go faster i have this set to a button on my joystick so that's all i got <laughs> all right 6.33 we're looking at right about 
there, I would say. All right, let's jump back down here. It looks like we have everything we need in here. We don't have our approach yet because we didn't do that yet. Uh, N1 limit, menus, departure arrivals, climb, uh, cruise. It's already got everything calculated for us. And everything looks good here. All right, we'll head back to the legs page. A little bit more information we need to put into the plane. We need to get all of our arrival information, which we're going to get off of our runway two chart. So we'll open our charts. We'll go to approach ILS two. And this is going to be our chart today. So 110.1 final approach course is going to be 024. Our airport elevation is going to be 55. And our landing elevation or, you know, for our ILS is going to be 275. So let's get this information put into the plane. First thing I want to do before I forget is I want to jump overhead and set our pressurization. So we'll get that set to 30,000. And our landing altitude is 55, so we'll set that to 50 for now. All right, we'll jump down below here. And our radios, we're looking for 110.1. So we'll swap this. We'll set this down to 110.1. Swap that back. 110.1 and we'll swap that back as well uh that is our nav radius okay final approach course 024 so we'll get that set 024 we'll get it whoop i'm going to zoom in there we'll get it set on the other side 024 and our ils is going to be 275 what was that sound did our brake just go off yeah it did I don't know why that just went off. Uh, I, our landing is going to be 275, so we'll get that set to 275. And there we are. We got that set. Okay. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Our takeoff speeds, I believe, were, what, 136? See if I can find them again. Takeoff. We're looking at 141. So we'll set this to 141. We can also set our altitude straight up to 30,000. There we are. And our heading, we're departing 24 left. We'll pull up our Summers 2 chart here and we'll take a look at it. Climb on a heading of 251 is going to be our departure heading. So we'll set this to 251. Well, actually, it might be quicker if we just go backwards. 251. All right. Looks like everything is good to go there. We'll uh, jump over to our checklists here and our before start checks. We're not too far from pushing back here. So FMC is programmed. We'll go ahead and get our flight directors one and two turned on. Our auto throttle switch is off. That is, where's our, right here. Uh, IS, IAS and Mach indicator, we have that set. Heading selector is set, altitude selector is set. Autopilot disengage bar right here, that is uh, up. Thrust levers are set to idle. Stabilizer trim, we already set. Auto brakes can be set to RTO. APU, we'll jump to the overhead panel here. We'll go ahead and click on our APU and we'll click it to start. Our APU bleed switch can come on right here. Uh, and then our APU generators will go on. We'll also check for our stall warning here. It seems to be working well. We'll come down here. We'll set our TCAS to standby and we'll run a test on that as well. So we'll let that run its course and do its test here while our APU comes up. TCAS test pass. Very good. We'll keep an eye on our APU. As you can see, the needle is up. Once it stabilizes around 4,000, then we'll be able to go on to our APU power. Uh, looks like we are going to be using both of our fuel tanks today. Or all of our, all three of them. The outer tanks, the wing tanks, and the center tanks. Uh, so we'll have to make sure we turn on all of our fuel pumps. All right. Waiting for our APU to come up, and then we can do our before pushback checks and... Uh, Start pushing back here. We're going to be moving in just a minute here. Y'all damper can come on. It doesn't always stay on when I turn it on the first time. Generally have to wait for the plane to wake up a little bit. Looks like our APU gens are good. So we'll go 
on our APU generators. One and two. We are now off of the ground power. So with that being said, we can get rid of our ground services. We'll go to menu, FS actions, ground services. Uh, we'll release and remove the chocks. And that should get rid of the jetway and everything. There it goes. Doors closed. Ground power is removed. And we'll jump back up in here. And we could do our before pushback checks. We'll jump back overhead here. We're going to get all of our fuel pumps turned on. Our APU generator switches are on. Our CPL signs are confirmed. Flight deck doors and windows are locked. Ground equipment is disconnected. And anti collision lights can come on. All right. We are ready for push and start. We're going to be pushing back to the right, but KLAX open charts, taxi charts, airport info. Luckily, we are right next to our runway today. So we're going to be pushing back and we'll jump on Echo. We'll take Echo all the way down to Echo, I guess Echo 7 or Delta 7. We got a line up right here. So I guess we'll, our Victor, I guess we'll take it to Victor and we'll line up right there. All right, I'll move this back over. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that master caution. We'll call for our tug. We'll get that lined up. We can go ahead and release our brake while we wait for that. We'll turn our engines on here and we'll set this to the right ignition today and we will get our left engine started. So left engine's coming alive. We're looking for 18 on our N2. And we'll feed it fuel. 14, 15, 16, 17, feed it fuel. We'll let that engine come to life. And we'll start our pushback here. We'll let that engine stabilize. Uh, once that engine stabilizes, we'll get our second engine up and going. Beautiful airport scenery, by the way. Did you hear that engine coming to life? All right, we'll jump back up here. Our switch switched off. We'll go ahead and get our second engine going. And we'll wait for 18 on the end, too, and we'll feed it fuel. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and fuel. There we are. We'll go ahead and stop our pushback here. And we'll put our brake on for now. We'll let our engine come up and stabilize. Once our engines are stabilized, we will go on our engine generators and do our after start checks and our taxi checks and we'll be on our way. There's our switch. Going over to the overhead panel here. And we can do our after start checks. Engine generator switches one and two. One and two. We're now on our engine generators. Our bleed switch can come off and our APU can come off as well. Pro P switches one and two need to come on. One and two. Uh, master caution recall. No alerts. Um, we don't need wing anti ice or anything like that today. Our pack switches left and right can be set to auto. Our isolation valve can be set to auto as well. Uh, we'll jump down to the bottom here and we'll set this to T-A-R-A. -A. There we are. We'll get our terrain turned on. And we're ready for our taxi check. So taxi lights and runway turnoff lights can come on. Flaps can be set to five. That's three notches. So we'll go ahead and get that going. Uh, and we will check our flight controls here. Left, right, forward, backwards, and rudder. We are solid there. And waiting for our flaps to hit five. There they are. Flaps are set. And we are ready for taxi. So we'll go ahead and release our parking brake here. We'll give ourselves some right rudder. Or left rudder. What the heck am I saying? Uh, we're kicking our left rudder here. right 
we have our engines uh, idling high because I'm used to flying the A320 now that I had my throttle switches in. Uh, the A320 has a reverser on it, so I had that set up for that. So I was in the reverser detent, which is why my engines were throttling up right there. I didn't even catch that. Um, but now they are set to idle. So we are going to pull up here onto the Echo taxiway, which is going to be just to the right here. And uh, we'll be lined up on the runway here in just a second. We're not too far from the runway at all. We're going to get out of here. We'll be wheels up in less than four minutes. Yeah, I was wondering why my engines are running so high. Uh, so I have the Airbus Thrustmaster uh, throttle and joystick, and they have a reverser section where you can lock up the, the actual reverser toggles. And that's how I set it for the A320. Um, so they were just sitting on at what would be idle for the A320, uh, but would be about, I don't know what percentage this is, maybe 30, 40% throttle on this. All right, we're crossing Delta 9 on the right here. We're not going to take this next left. We're going to take the one right after that, uh, which should be Victor or Delta 7. I can't really... I think it's Victor. Um, we'll make a left there, and we'll be lined up on the runway. So not right here, but right there where that yellow sign is. If you guys are enjoying this, be sure to drop a like. Leave a comment. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And... Uh, join me on this youtube journey of flight videos i'm not a real life pilot or anything of that nature i'm just kind of a hobbyist who enjoys the game uh so everything i learned is from youtube <laughs> all right this is going to be where we line up so we'll follow this taxi line over to the left here and we'll stop we're going to hold short for just a second say so we'll hold short right here We'll go ahead and give them whiplash real quick. All right, our before takeoff checks. We need to get our auto throttle armed. Our engine start switches can go to continuous. Uh, master caution recall. We are good. Transponder is on. Landing lights can come on. And strobe lights can come on as well. And we're ready to line up. We'll release that brake again. We'll go ahead and give ourselves some throttle. We'll get out on this runway and we'll... We'll get wheels up. All right, and there we are lined up and we are ready for departure. So we will go ahead and hit our toga button. We'll keep the nose down. We'll listen for our call outs. And we'll try and keep it as close to center as we can on this line. Cross check. Rotating. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. All right, we'll jump up here. Go ahead and go flaps one. We're gonna nose down for speed. We're a little bit sharp here. Get our speeds up. And speeds are stable. We'll go ahead and go flaps all the way in. We will go V nav, L nav. We'll go ahead and toggle on our autopilot. 
And there we are. There's a beautiful departure. We're jumping a right wing view. You can see Los Angeles out there. We are on our way to Hawaii. Beautiful departure. All right. We'll go ahead and get our landing gear set to the off position. And we'll do our after takeoff checks, which is landing gear is up. Flaps are in. Taxi light switches can come off. Auto brake can be set back to off. And autopilot is on. Beautiful. We'll go ahead and get our terrain off. And we'll get our traffic on just in case. I don't think there is any traffic. Uh, I don't have any real world traffic turned on at this time though. So I don't think we'll see anything anyway. But we do have quite a long flight ahead of us. We're looking at about five hours. Let's see, what are we looking at? Let me, it's telling me five hours and 41 minutes airtime. Uh, this is where we are on our departure. And this is where we have to go. So a very long flight. But should nevertheless be a very nice flight. So we'll do we'll zoom this out. Let's see our I don't think that we're gonna be able to get anywhere near our top of descent. Yeah, so we got a while to go before I'll be able to know where our top of descent is. Uh, but we're climbing up through 7,000 here in just a minute. We're jumping in back view. There you go. It's a little quieter. Very smooth departure. Clear skies. Not a lot of haze, which I'm surprised. Every time I fly in or, in or out of LAX, there's a lot of haze or smog. Not a lot going on today. Let's see. Let's jump over here. Beautiful out there. I think we can almost see the wing. Yeah, see the wing over there. Well, that's the last bit of land we're going to see for quite a while. We're about to cross over 10,000 feet, so we'll go ahead and get our landing lights turned off. And uh, we'll jump back into wing view for now. We're going to stay. I'm going to stay with you until 18,000 as usual, which is our transition altitude. And then we'll jump into a time lapse uh, until we're closer to the descent. But I don't know. You're probably not going to see much. You know, it's just going to be all water. But, uh,. Maybe there'll be some clouds or something to separate the ground from the sky and we'll see. Either way, I'll put the time lapse in there. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to fly five and a half hours and cut five and a half hours out. <laughs> but it'll be condensed down to about three minutes, probably. Go and jump back up here. We do have some clouds. This is going to be the view that we do. For our time lapse looks like we pitched down for speed and we hit our target airspeed so we're gonna start climbing again about 2500 feet per minute which is pretty good engines are coming down a little bit looks like we're holding an altitude constraint maybe zoom this back in okay we got 12,000 there we go. We're going to pitch back up. We got a 12,000 foot altitude constraint right there. And we are back on our way up. Go back in that wing view. Long flight, man. I was excited to do this flight. I don't feel like a lot of people do or have done this flight. So I felt like it was something different, something newer. Um, I'm enjoying it. So far, it's been a good flight. LAX is beautiful, flying out of. It always is. It's usually a little laggy because it's a busier airport, but uh, I wasn't too bad today. Not too bad at all. I'm suspecting the arriving airport should do just fine. We got out of there like a rocket ship. We are already at 14,000 and climbing. We got quite a ways to go. We'll do all of our arrival information once we get closer. We we'll go back to menu. We'll go to legs, um, which our arrival information isn't too much. We pretty much prepped everything for arrival. We don't have a whole lot that we're gonna have to do. Um, let's jump in a wing view again. Let's take a left wing view. See, 
Nothing out there, but I am glad that there's some clouds out there. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a small island of some sort. I am happy that there's some clouds out there. And uh, I'm hoping to have some kind of clouds during the flight. Again, that way we can differentiate ground from sky. I'm gonna switch this back to a right wing view. It's pretty good. We can leave that there for now. Coming up on 16,000 feet. We got 2,000 feet to go. Then we'll toggle our barometer into standard mode. And we will start our time lapse. I'm going to have to keep an eye on the fuel here. At some point, we're going to have to swap that tank or turn that tank off. We'll turn these two off. That way, it's just not constantly like trying to cross feed the fuel. There's 17,000 there. Last little bit of land we're going to see for five hours. That's crazy. Five hours going, what, 450 miles an hour? All right, we'll jump back over here. There's our 18,000. We'll I'm toggle this into standard mode. There we are. We can go ahead and toggle off our seatbelts. We're in a safe and steady climb. Our engines can go back to the off position. Uh, and our landing lights are off. We are all good to go. So, with that being said, we can jump up in this view. And we'll start our time lapse here. And I will see you guys when we are closer to the, to the descent. I hope you guys enjoy the flight. We've started our descent. We are actually a little bit higher on our descent, so we will correct that here in just a second. Let me zoom this in here. There we go. So we'll just add a little bit of speed brakes to help us get back down onto our descent path here. Uh, we're a little bit higher on it. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty good flight. We had a little bit of turbulence through it. You may be able to see that in the time lapse. I'm not sure. Um, 
but pretty smooth flight. If we look out the window, we don't really have much out this side, but we do have one of the islands out to our left over here. I don't know the names of these islands, so forgive me for that, but I can show you where we are. This is where we are, and this is where we're going to be flying into. Um, so yeah, we are on our way into Hawaii. All right, let's jump back up in the cockpit. We grabbed our descent pass. So let's go ahead and release our speed brake there. We just slow down a little bit. Um, I want to take a look at our arrival information. So it looks like here we're going to get some vectors uh, after camps. Let me see if I can see camps on here. Uh, can't, we'll probably be, I'll have to see once we get closer. We'll probably be locked onto the ILS by then. Um, let me go to the next page. So camps, so we go camps, vector camps. Interesting. All right. So there is a way to fix that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We just, I think we just grab this and we put it right here and we execute that. So that should fix that. Let me see. Yeah, there we are. So now we won't have to do any vectors. Uh, but we do have to do our arrival information. So we're going to be doing 30 degree flaps at 127 knots. We'll drop that in there. We'll head back to our legs page and make sure 132. It did put in our landing speeds. Uh, we're going down to 3000. 20, 2400 is our intercept for our ILS. So we'll go ahead and drop this down to 2400. Uh, and we're not quite below 18,000. So we don't have to do our descent checks just yet but we will do them soon our altimeter here is going to be three zero 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 let me just update it on my other screen here to make sure it's still the same it is three zero 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 three thousand is going to be our altimeter setting um left wing view you can see one of the islands over there that we're flying over if i go back up in front here i can probably just look over and zoom into it a little bit there's one of the islands let's go out to the right we can start to get the other island uh, in view, which we're gonna fly between two islands somewhere up here. We're gonna kind of, I think we're gonna fly between two. Yeah, right here. So that's why this path is like this. We're gonna fly right through the two. All right, that looks good to me. Um, we have all of our arrival information put in, so we are good there. We're below twenty thousand, so we'll be at our eighteen thousand transition pretty soon. We want to make sure the plane is going to maintain everything and speed and all of that uh, down to 132 at 2400. Hopefully we are able to do that. Uh, we'll go into manual speed if we need to, but I think we will, we will be fine. Uh, coming down to our 18,000 mark, we'll go ahead and toggle on our altimeter mode here and we'll set it to 3000 since we are cleared below that altitude. Uh, we'll go ahead and set that. We don't have too far to go. We'll be on the ground before you know it pretty quickly. We're going to have a lot to do pretty quickly once we get lower. We're going to do our landing checks. Our auto brakes, we can go ahead and set that now. We're going to set them to medium, so two. Uh, master caution recall, we're good there. Missed approach altitude, we'll set that. Speed brakes will arm. I don't know, I'm sorry, descent checks. Seatbelt signs, yes. I was reading our uh, landing checks. Uh, Seatbelt signs can come on. We'll go ahead and get them, let them know we're preparing for arrival here. Uh, air conditioner and pressures are checked. Everything seems to be good there. Um, we just put in our transition altitude and our engine start switches can be set to continuous. We'll go ahead and leave them on there. All we have left is our approach checks. Uh, once we're below 10,000 or more on our approach, we're gonna go ahead and give in some speed brakes here. Help us get back down onto that descent path. For some reason, we've gotten ourselves above it again. So a little bit of speed brakes will help the plane slow down, which will help it be able to descend a little bit quicker. That's one way of managing that. Uh, there are several ways to manage that, but for now, that's the way we're gonna do it. And here we are catching up on our path. We're about 400 feet above it. 300 feet. There's 200. Right about now. And we're just about caught up to it here. So we'll go ahead and release our speed brakes. 
in just a second there we are we captured the vnav path again go ahead and release our speed brakes uh one thing that we could also do is we could do a speed intervene and slow the plane down i just watched a video on this my buddy showed it to me a way to manage your energy in this plane uh so we'll go ahead and pull some speed brakes we're going to be above our glide path a little bit here while we slow down but we'll be able to catch up to it likely with no problem but we're gonna go ahead and slow down and then we will drop our altitude later and there we are we've slowed down to the speed that we wanted it to just about uh we're only about a thousand feet high which is fine we'll be able to get that down and the plane's gonna pitch back down and help us start descending again. All right, so we are watching our chart here. Um, let's see where we're at on our arrival. And everything seems to be going pretty smooth here. We are following our path. There's that island of which we're gonna fly right between here. We're still descending at 2,000 feet per minute, so we're about 800 feet above our path, but we are catching up to it, which is good. Let's take a look out the wing here. I'm going to do a right wing view. There's the island off to our right. Big ass mountain. <laughs> All right. We're coming up on our 10,000 marks. We'll go ahead and get our landing lights turned on. Uh, and we could do our auto brakes are set, decision height set. Our speed brakes will have to set flaps, landing gear, and taxi lights, which is all we have left. So we'll just continue climbing down. Uh, now that we have a little bit more management of our speed, we'll go ahead and speed this back up a little bit. We'll do about 230, which will help us catch up to our glide path a little bit quicker. There it is. You can see it coming back up to us here. There we are. We'll release our speed brake. We should capture our VNAV. VNAV course again here there we are back on the vnav path so that's one of the ways that you can you know that I, I watched the video and it showed me that you can kind of trade off your your speed and altitude so if we slow down now we can uh descend quicker later as needed um but for now, we'll put it back into VNAV mode, v -nav mode or VNAV path, and uh, we'll just we'll just follow that path right on down. We're going to be making a right turn up here pretty soon. We'll go ahead and get our terrain on because we do have mountains around us that we're going to have to keep an eye on. Uh, we can get our traffic off because we don't have any traffic in the area at this time. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, you can see the islands here. You know, the blue is the water, the black is the islands. So that's how we're gonna fly right through them there. Looks like we're gonna start our right turn here as we descend down. It's like some ripples down in the oceans there. Still doing pretty good on our VNAV path. Looks like it just drop below us a little bit so we just have to capture that again i don't know why it just clipped down like that uh, i think it's because we passed that waypoint uh we're only about 100 feet above it we're about to about to lock back onto it here i mean we're locked onto it but you know we're about to level back off there we are uh let me jump down here if i go to fix i think it's slash five no I forget how to do this uh next page no let me see next page next page one do i just do five there we go and ten 
No, I don't remember how to do this. It's point no slash five. There we go. And slash ten. I think if I did it right, we'll give us radiuses from the airport. No, I don't think I did it right. I'll clear this one out. Radial a radio and distance five miles yeah i don't know i forget how to do that but there's a way to add markings on here that shows you your distances and you can select you know what distances you want it to show so i don't know if i can uh slash zero can i get rid of these no delete delete there we go so is it five slash? Nope. I don't remember how to do this. Maybe it's just five? Nope. <laughs> That's okay. I'll see if I can figure that out for you guys next time. But you could put uh, radiuses around the airport at five miles, 10 miles, 20 miles. And it kind of helps you out with figuring out when you need to be set up for everything and stuff like that. It, it is pretty helpful. Uh, we could jump over here and change this to that there we go looks like we're gonna be right at our target altitudes uh yeah we're looking pretty good we're down to 4400 we're gonna start we got our localizer on here which is great so we'll just continue on down here we'll go ahead and arm our speed brakes uh and we're gonna try and get a localizer capture pretty soon we should be able to start slowing down by adding in a notch of flaps pretty soon i could actually probably add them in now let me zoom this out here um there we go turning and i want to get a vor lock pretty soon zoom that in and we'll go ahead and arm it let's see if we can't capture that oh looks like we did capture it already very good uh so we'll be looking for our Flight slope next. All right, so we'll just keep on flying in until we capture our glide slope. We can go ahead and add flaps five. So we'll go ahead and get flaps five. There's our glide slope. Uh, we'll wait till it gets a little bit closer and then we will toggle it on. It looks like that's probably gonna be the airport we're landing at right there. With that being said, we got our landing lights turned on and our taxi light turns on. Taxi lights turned on. Uh, we'll drop our gear here shortly. Not just yet. We'll let our speeds continue coming down. We did intercept our localizer, so we're just waiting for our glide slope. Go ahead and jump out and do another wing view real quick. There's the mountains off to our left. That's beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. Man, what an approach this is going to be. Look at all the uh, the windmills going up the mountain. It's pretty cool. All right, we're still locked onto our localizer. We can... We should be holding our altitude. We shouldn't be descending anymore. At 2600? Yeah, we're going to hold at 2400 is where I have it set. Uh, I can actually put that up. We'll do 20, 2,500. There we go. So we'll stop right there until we get an intercept. Radio altimeter. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to hold right there. What a beautiful approach this is looking like. All right, we got our ILS alti or our altimeter, our uh, light slope coming down to us. It's perfectly on par with our descent. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit toggle on approach mode so we can get a capture on that here in a minute. I want to see these windmills out of the left. That looks freaking awesome. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What an approach. All right, let's jump back up here. We're going to go into manual speed mode here in just a second. So I want to keep bringing that down. We can go ahead and drop our gear. We do have a lock on the glide slope. And we can get some more flaps going. We'll bring our speeds down. 
I think 132 is our target speed. We'll get it to 140 for right now. I'm not really sure what the right wing looks like. Let's go ahead and get a quick right wing view. There's a left wing view. Man, that looks so awesome. I actually like the left wing more. At least for now, until we get closer. All right, let's jump back up here. There's our outer marker. We can start slowing down. Our flaps are fully set. And we are ready for landing. Beautiful so far. So if we touch this down real smooth. There's the plane. Wow, the way the clouds are just like, sorry, let me swap through these again. The way the clouds are just like up on the mountains. It's so cool. A valley right through the mountains there, man. Awesome. All right, following that glide slope down, we got two red, two white on the Pappy lights. We are fully configured for landing. Our auto brakes are set. Our seatbelt signs are on, landing lights are on, taxi lights are on, runway turnoff lights are on. Um, our speed brake is armed, our flaps are good. Our landing gear is down. Our speeds are set. We are ready. We can go ahead and turn this towards our runway heading. There we are. Get that right there. And we can get this up to, say, 3,000. 1,000. There we are. Going to a left wing view. Look at the mountains, man. That looks so good. Loving this approach so far. Absolutely loving this approach. Go right view. Pretty flat, actually a lot flatter over here than I expected. All right, we gotta jump back up here. All right, we'll toggle off the, uh, the autopilot once we're a little bit closer. We're gonna ride it down pretty close. We're gonna make sure the plane doesn't sink too much. Let's keep it at one, three, two. Let's do one last view out of the wing. There we are. We'll jump back up here. And we can fly this down by hand at this point. All right. I have control of the plane. And we're just going to follow that glide slope right on down. Approaching minimums. Need to get over a little bit more. Minimums. Continuing. In a little bit high, we're gonna drop it down a little bit quicker. 100. Everything 50. looks good. 40. 30. We came in a little bit high. 20. 10. And whoop, that was an abrupt flare. All right, we are down. We'll go ahead and get the nose down. We'll get our reverses going. our reversers and I think where are we taking this all the way down to the end here so we floated a little bit at the end there but that's okay we'll get our flaps in we'll get our speed brakes put back in uh, I was looking at the scenery instead of looking at where we needed the land so I actually floated a little bit but not a bad landing we'll go ahead and taxi off here uh, then we'll hold short and we will do our after landing checks and figure out where we're going welcome to Hawaii guys Whoa, our scenery just completely changed on us. We do have live weather on, so that's kind of weird that that just did that, but maybe it's just updating. All right, we will clear ourselves of the active runway here. There we are. And we'll go ahead and hold short right here. We'll put our brake on and let's do our after landing check. So landing lights can come off get them off 
strobe lights they can be set back to steady taxi lights can stay on flaps are up speed brake is down transponder engine start switches can go back to off uh stabilizer trim we're good we'll go ahead and get this started we'll get our bleed on we'll jump down here and we'll get our tcas set to standby and we are ready to taxi let's figure out where we have to go so let's pull up our taxi chart here airport info looks like this is where we are taxiway alpha all the way to the terminals pretty easy taxi so we'll just follow this right on up to the terminals go ahead and release our brake we'll give ourselves a little bit of throttle we can turn off our terrain we no longer need that we can set our auto brakes to off and uh we're good we're good to taxi beautiful flight I, it's kind of weird that the weather and everything changed as soon as i landed that's not the time or anything just like maybe the clouds cleared out of the way i don't i don't know but that's all right if you guys enjoyed this hit that like button leave a comment uh looks like our apu is ready um if there's somewhere you want me to fly leave it in the comments let me know um if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button at least if this is the type of content that you like i want to see a a right wing taxi view man we are flying let me make sure we're on the taxiway here that looks so beautiful that was a good flight very very good flight long flight but a great flight like we're gonna keep on going forward here and we'll pick one of these terminals to pull into one day we'll have to do a flight back you know from hawaii back to lax all right there's a wing view of the airport man the airport with those mountains behind it just looks absolutely awesome all right we'll start slowing down and we can just pull off at any point here and figure out which taxiway we're gonna go to, but we definitely need to slow down. We can go to this one right here. Here we are, up into a wing view. We need to slow down a lot and just kind of roll ourselves in here. There we go. A nice controlled roll right into the gate all right we'll jump back up here and we're gonna hold short here or hold or stop here right about there i'd say so we'll go ahead and toggle our brake on we'll get our taxi lights turned off so we're not blinding everybody at the terminal and we can do our parking checks so parking brake is set seatbelt signs can come off uh we'll go ahead and get them off uh, we'll get established on our APU. We're now established on our APU, so we can get our engine cutoffs. Go ahead and cut them down. Uh, we'll jump down here. We'll get our ground services. We'll go to menu, FS actions, ground services. Let's make sure it's jetway. It is. We'll set the chalks. We'll request ground power. We'll let that connect. As soon as that's connected, we got the jetway moving over here for us. There it is. Uh, we'll jump into the overhead. We no longer need our oh, I guess we have everything set there already. Uh, there's our ground power. So we'll go ahead and get established We're now on our ground power, which means we can cut our APU off uh, We'll turn off our bleed. We'll open our isolation valve. We can set our packs to off Pro beats can come off. Y'all damper can come off. Window heats can come off uh, Emergency exit lights we can unarm those uh what else we got our engine ignition we can set back to normal our fuel pumps can come off and i think everything is good for that we're good for deboarding so that was our flight there we go we got the jetway connected uh if you guys enjoyed this again drop a like leave a comment let me know what you guys think somewhere you want me to fly let me know and definitely hit that subscribe button and i will catch you guys on the next flight